Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Courtney and it's nice to meet you. <laughs> and today is going back to one of my original loves and that is makeup. I went to school for it right after high school. It was something I wanted to do. Unfortunately, I did not finish it. I ended up coming to England and staying here. <laughs> um, I've got a love for eyeshadow palettes. I collect them. A lot of it has to do with packaging. Um, one brand in particular is because I am obsessed with the brand. I always have been. And so without further ado, let's get straight to the video. I have an obsession of makeup palettes. I use more than some of the others. There are some here that I have not used at all. Um, one of them because I am scared to, and I will talk about that when I get to it. The first brand I'm gonna talk about is Makeup Revolution. Now, they are very affordable. Uh, one of these palettes was only four pounds, whereas the other one was only six pounds. And they're really good, but I do prefer my other ones. These are more when I wanna play around with colors. One is very well used <laughs> and very messed up, so I don't use it that much. So the first one I have is this one, and it's the Ultimate Color Chaos Palette. And it looks like it's chaos in there, and you'll see why. <laughs> Oh, see, all the colors are mixed up. But when I feel like going crazy and I need to clean this up because I haven't cleaned it up since the last time I used it and I just got makeup everywhere, I go for that one. So the next one I have is the Redemption Palette Essentials Day to Night. I had the Mermaid Collection one of it and it was really pretty, um, but I didn't really use it. So I gave that, oh. <laughs> Gave that to my cousin. You can see this color right here is what I kept it for because I love that color. If you haven't noticed the theme with my YouTube, teal is one of my favorite colors in the entire world. Um, my whole bedroom is teal and Disney. Those are the only two Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes I have. The next palette I am going to show you is a really really pretty palette they came out with a second one which is a lot bigger but I was quite excited to get the first one when it came out it is another youtuber and it is the Carly Bible BH cosmetics palette and it's the first one so it comes with 10 color eyeshadows and four highlighters so it has that little mirror on there which is a nice little size and it says aspire to inspire which I love things like that. So yeah, I kind of sold, again, packaging for me. It's used a lot, you can tell, because it's all over the place. But these are the highlighters there. I used that one a lot. It was really pretty. Let's see. And then really neutral colors. There is five shimmers and five mattes. They are really nice for like everyday looks. I am obsessed with like, plummy colors, plummy neutral colors, because I find they make my eyes just stand out a bit more. This next one um, I got when Morphe was not so much over here in the UK. It was quite hard to find, so when I went over to visit my family in Florida, I found the most amazing little boutique that sold all the Morphe eyeshadow palettes that were out at that time. So I got myself the 35F palette. I like it. It's like nice and it's good for traveling with because of the hard packaging, and it, which is actually hard to open. <sighs> Help. Ah! Again, you'll see I have a thing for neutral colors and plummy colors, which I love that goldy one though as well. They don't have any names on them, which is fine but they are really quite a good pan size. Oh, I couldn't tell you how deep it is because I have not touched pan on them. Um, but yeah, look at that. That little color right there. It's just like, uh, you can't really see. Which is a shame because it's a beautiful. Colors like that, if I see it in a palette, more than likely I'm gonna wanna buy it. This next palette I bought is again another YouTuber. One of his palettes. And I think it was his first palette that he came out with. And on Beauty Bay, it <laughs> killed me because they had a sale and this went below half off. And I was like, yep, I'm getting it. 
I have a thing for the packaging. I have a thing for what it represents. So I haven't used it. <laughs> I have not used it yet. I want to, but it's pretty. It is the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag Palette. It's just so cool. I've kept the Unicarton a lot. Yeah, I think there's only one other one that I've kept the Unicarton for, but that's because I haven't used it yet. So you open it up. Look at that. By Manny MUA. And I just, oh, I love it. I have a thing for drag queens. I love RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, I used to go with my best friend in Florida when we were younger and dress her sister up as a drag queen. And yes, you can do that. So, yeah. Try to beat her face. Not literally, obviously. So you open it up and it says be a queen on there. Yes. And the names on here are amazing. So you got Cake Face, you got Sydney, you got Hunty, which is what I say to my best friend a lot. Beat, Campy, Pageant Queen, Kiki, you got Shady, Trade, Mug, Legendary, Kai Kai, Snatched, and Fishy. I think it's really pretty. I have not played with it. I've not even swatched it, because as you can see, it still has the plastic on it. I'm scared to. That's just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And again, there's that teal color, Kiki. That's why I was like, yeah. Because I love teal. I love it. I need to play with it. Let me know if you want me to do a review on this or if, well, not a review, more of a first impressions on the life's a drag. Just leave a comment down below. I'm looking to it. This next palette was supposed to be a limited edition and I'm so glad it's not because I need a new one soon um, because I've hit pan on a couple of the shades. And as soon as I got this palette, I, I didn't use any other, I think for about four months because I was just obsessed. And I love the formula of it. I love how they blend. I love how they look. I make my eyes just pop because of the colors. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And you can see from the packaging, is very well loved. It's traveled everywhere with me. Open it there, just got a mirror there. As you can see, very well loved. <laughs> I've touched the pan there and there. I use this one, Venetian Red Love Letter Antique Bronze and Red Orchid a lot. I use Venetian Red and Love Letter a lot under my eyelid and it just makes my green eyes just go in your face, green eyes. Oh yeah. I use these shimmers, the Vermeer, if that's the right way to say it. When I've done a bit of a smoky eye, I like to lighten it up a lot right on the inner bits of my eyelids. So yeah, I love it. I want to get some more of her palettes because I think the formula is amazing. They just like blend out amazing. They just, they're incredible. And I don't know why I haven't bought another one of her palettes because I've loved every single one of them when I seen the pictures, but I'll get there one day. I just gotta wait each paycheck and see if it's enough so I can get a couple. This next one, I have not touched. <laughs> Back before Christmas, um, this company, Colourpop, had a free shipping worldwide and I want to take advantage of that, especially because they came out with this new collection of something that I'm even more obsessed with than makeup. And can you guess what it is, yeah? <laughs> uh, this collection came out. I really, really, really wanted it. All the lipsticks were gone, but the eyeshadow palette was the one thing that I desperately wanted. <laughs> I very desperately wanted. Um, I kept saying to my husband, should I get it, should I get it? I don't know, oh no, I don't know. I need to get it, I need to get it. Put it in my basket, take it out. Put it in my basket, take it out. And he's like, just get it. I'm like, mm, I can't. I can't, I'll just settle with a, two lip glosses that I think came to like 12 pound, no. I think it was like 10 pound when I put them in. So unfortunately I said bye bye to this palette and wished that I could have got it, but when I went back it sold out. I was gutted. <laughs> I was like, why didn't I just go with my first instinct? But I wanted to save money for Christmas. Christmas day comes and I'm going through my presents and this was saved last for me and I almost cried <laughs> when I opened it because I seen the box. I was like, no, 
just knows from my husband open the box and there this little beauty is the designer collection of Disney from Colourpop now Disney if you know me is my well one two three fourth but love <laughs> because my family comes first but Disney is an obsession with mine like I said before more so than makeup everything I have in my house is mainly Disney all my mugs are Disney uh, let me know down below if you want to see that collection because I love my Disney mugs <laughs> very, very much. So yes, when this collection came out, I, I wanted it so badly. So I was so happy when I opened it Christmas day and seen it there in the box. I'll show you. Listen to some of these names. They are amazing. So you got Chip, you got Juju, you got Grumpy, you got Triton, you got Abu, you got Prince Charming, you got Ray, you got Fairy Godmother, One Kiss, Thing of a Bob, Enchanted Rose, Poison Apple, Magic Carpet, Beast, and Midnight Curfew. It's just so gorgeous. And even though the Unicarton's great, this is just, ah. You can tell like which is my favorite. This is the one that I have not used yet because I'm scared to. Because if this ever like ran out, I would cry because it's Disney and makeup put into one of my favorite things. And it's ColourPop, I love ColourPop. If you look at that packaging, look at the princesses. And Jasmine is just so fierce. I like Tiana too. She, they all look really pretty, but those two just look amazing. It's just so pretty. And then when you open it up, it has the signatures of each princess. And look at those colors. And it's perfect for like everyday use. You got like the most amazing shimmers and metallics and the mattes are really pretty. I just love it. Like all of those. It is my favorite. <laughs> Even though I've not used it, I'm scared to touch it. And I will use it. But it's just it's like a prized possession of mine. You see what I mean? I collect. I collect these. It made me so happy. <laughs> Now we are going to the brand that has been my ride or die since I was young. I've been using their eyeliners as long as I can remember. I remember my first job. I went out and bought two because <laughs> I was like, yes, I was only uh, 16 when I had my first proper job at a drugstore. So as soon as I was paid, that's it, go. I had like pocket money I would save so I could get them and I finally own quite a few of their palettes. Again, don't have the entire collection, but I'm pleased with what I have. So the first one I'm gonna show you is, again, one of my favorites because it has to do with another one of my nose. Well, the same as the last one and the packaging this is one that you will not be able to get anymore and I'm gutted because it has had little fingers as well on it um, while I was sleeping one night and gutted because my favorite 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 eyeshadow from this palette got a bit ruined and I'm scared to touch it because I don't want to ruin the formula it is the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass palette it's, oh, I as soon as I see in the pictures of when it was coming out, it's like I have to. I don't care if it's my entire paycheck. I'm having it. <laughs> when you open it, we are all we are all mad here. It's on the there. Oh hello, you can see me. And then ah, oh, I almost fell. Then you got I'm. Eh. Then you got I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours, which kind of sums me up with people that actually know me. I'm quite out there, <laughs> but you open, so yeah, they see why I relate to this bit. You open it up, I'm just gonna do this. Ah! And it's got that beautiful butterfly. A packaging, they just went above and beyond with this packaging. It says on there, I know who I was when I got it this morning but I must have changed several times since then. With everything, with the detail and everything. And it is a very loved palette. Um, I had to play with it. 
I'm gutted that little tiny fingers have messed around with it because I never want this palette to go. You will not be able to find it unless there's a collector willing to sell it to me because, yeah. So you open this up, you can take it out. There you have it. Look at those colors. I see it's really messed up. This one right here, Lily was my favorite and somehow a little one got into it, took time, which is that color right there, and took Metamorphosis and mixed into Lily, which Lily is a beautiful iridescent color. It comes out very, just see if you can get it without the blue. See, it's got blue shimmers in it still, but it's very, it's ugly. And it's got like, it's white, but has reflex of pink in there. It's my favorite and it's ruined and I'm gutted. But I'll see if I can try to fix it somehow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just look at those colors. One of the reasons Urban Decay is one of my favorites is the packaging. They kill it with the packaging from their eyeshadows to their single eyeshadows to their lipsticks to their all nighter sprays, which I love the new look. It's not so new anymore, but yeah. Next one I have is the Urban Decay Vice palette. Again, I, I'll say it with every single one of them. Packaging, they deliver every single time. And I'm obsessed because I've got a nice massive mirror, but then you got the colors. That are astounding. Again, teals, my favorite. And shades of it. And this is more for like when I really want to have fun and go out there with my makeup. So pretty. And it's nice to just like have there and look at. The next palette I got, I think was a limited edition one. Urban Decay done a collaboration with Gwen Stefani. And she's badass. I mean, it's Urban Decay, so you, you've got to expect them to work with someone that's badass. And she's badass. And I love it. It's, again, packaging. It's nice and gold. And it's really hard. When you open up, you've got a massive, again, I use this a lot. It says magic. Oh, magic's in the makeup. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And again, the colors are just to die for. You can use them every day. And then you've got these three right here that are like a nice little splash of color. You've got that little pink, which is called Harajuku. And you got Danger and you got 1987. Just that one. And they're just beautiful. They are amazing to work with. They are amazing to incorporate um, those colors, those ones in with the everyday look. Just to give you that pow. And yeah, another one I love. I'm saying I love this one because I, I wouldn't have make a palette that I don't love. Um, so yeah, I've already gotten rid of the ones that I don't. So why I do love all them. Next one I got is the Naked Urban Decay Smoky, which was my first naked palette that I ever had. Open it up, because I like how it's like really sturdy. You can take these with you and you're not gonna be afraid that the carton's gonna get ruined. So, very, it's got a magnetic bang. Open up and it's beautiful for all your smoky looks. I have used like the lighter colors and these over here for everyday just natural looks so it's nice that you can use that I like that they have the little navy colors in there so you've got smolder and dame dagger that are really nice to just brighten the eye area we are almost done the next naked palette I got I was so excited it was my first paycheck with the company I'm working with over a year ago um, so I, I had to buy it when it came out I knew I wanted it I love the colors Again, these are colors that I know make my eyes stand out. And that was the Naked Heat palette. And ah, it's just so nice. And again, with their magnetic ah, closing. And just look at those colors. Very fiery, very sultry. Really, really good for a night out uh, when you don't want to do an ordinary smoky eye. Uh, if you got green and hazel eyes, these are perfect to complement your eye color. That's why I love it. Scorch is just really pretty. I like using this. It's like a fiery red, almost with copper tones in it. 
finally it's the last one which was another one that I got for Christmas and it is the Naked 3 which is one that I've always wanted I've always wanted like the original Naked's because um, I like everyday looks especially when I'm going out just for grocery shopping or whatever we got this and it's very tinny <laughs> so not so much like that it's more of a clip yeah, and snap <laughs> You can open it up. Oh, I, I'm guessing you all know the Naked 3, but why not? Very, very pretty. Very nice for the summer and for the spring. Very nice and open the eyes out a bit. And yet at the same time, you've got the darker colors at the end, like all Naked 1, 2, and 3s have. And yeah, but that was my last one um, that I've gotten. I do want to get 1 and 2 still, and I still really 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 want the cherry palette so uh, I don't know which one to get first because at the same time I want to get some more of Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette yeah, that is my collection of eyeshadow palettes uh, again it's not that much I know that but I'm proud of it because it's all stuff I bought and literally I think it was yeah it's two of them that was given to me for Christmas and I work hard to pay for these well that is it thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below what your favorite palette from my collection is and please do not forget to subscribe as well and thank you so much for watching and have a good one